Once you've built your hardware for your stabilization system based on the Arduino and the uh, Wii based uh, accelerometer and gyros, the Wii Motion Plus and the Nunchuck, you're going to need to go and be able to load the firmware onto the Arduino. And the only way to go and uh, uh, do that uh, using the bootloader that uh, is resident on the Arduino is to load their integrated uh, development and uh, environment, the IDE. So first place we need to go is to the Arduino uh, homepage and uh, getting started and that's uh, uh, real quick to find in in any search engine so let's uh, let's go and jump there and the uh, Arduino site is just a wealth of information um, again this process is outlined on several places actually multiple places uh, the first place you really should go uh, when getting started in the uh, stabilization uh, and the multi wee copter is uh, obviously up here in, on uh, RC groups at this uh, at this link um, the multi wee copter uh, uh, basically a core forum if you will that has uh, 700 it might be up to 800 uh, pages of posts um, there's also multiple build logs that will go and take you through the same steps that I'm going to go through. So if mine are, are confusing or not deep enough or uh, not quite the, the right way to explain it, there's multiple places out here to go and get the same type of, uh, of information. And there's only so many ways that, uh, that you can go and, and download and install an application anyway. And I'm going to assume that uh, you're going to be at a uh, in a Windows environment, but there's a Mac OS and a Linux um, uh, environment for this as well. But since I'm using the uh, the Windows, here we are at the Arduino uh, uh, Arduino main page, getting started. Um, we're going to go and set up the Arduino software, and that's really what we want. Um, obviously select uh, Windows and download the Arduino uh, uh, environment um, go to the download page obviously like I say there's nothing rocket science about this um, the latest version uh, right now I believe is uh, uh, 22 uh, just by clicking on the environment you want uh, you have your download, uh, your download window. You're going to save a file, Arduino 0022.zip. Save it. Put it in your uh, uh, your environment. I like to go and put it right at <coughs> my C drive. Um, I go and uh, and create a folder called. Arduino. <laughs> I try to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, I download the uh, the zip file so I know where it uh, where it is. And uh, here we go. And it goes pretty quick. It's about uh, 85 megabytes or uh, um, five megabytes, I think. The last time I went and did it. Let's see what this really is here. Um, it says 85 megabytes, so I guess that's that's what it is. So I mean, not not real huge for for what it does. And uh, once that downloads, you go through the the normal uh, the normal installation uh, procedure, unzipping it, what have you. And uh, I don't think I'll go and take you through that uh, that lower level of uh, of uh, of installation. But uh, we'll go back in and uh, just uh, see what it looks like when you go once you go and get it down. Now the whole reason that we're going and getting the integrated uh, uh, design environment or development environment for the Arduino is to load firmware and 
where do you get the firmware? Well, it's up on um, code.google.com slash p slash multiwi. When you go up there, uh, you're going to be, uh, be shown this screen. Um, go to source, go to browse, go to tags, and here's your uh, here's your latest uh, here here's all your uh, your code your firmware now I'm using uh, the multi we v1 underscore six uh, dot zip um, the latest up there looks like it's now uh, multi we one underscore previous seven dot zip uh, but for this uh, uh, for this uh, uh, instruction uh, we're going to go with the one uh, one dot six code set, and uh, so it's pretty straightforward. Again, you know, you're downloading uh, you're downloading a zip file. What's maybe not as intuitive uh, in this uh, code repository? Once you uh, click on uh, the uh, the zip file you want, it's like where do I I download it? and uh, go over here to file info uh, view raw file click on that and here's your more normal <laughs> download window and uh, and save it into uh, uh, wherever you're going to be storing your code what I'm going to do just for simplicity sake is put it right in the same uh, Arduino folder as the the IDE that you uh, you just downloaded and uh, we'll save it there it's uh, it's pretty quick and uh, and that's done so let's go and uh, and uh, explode that uh, that zip file now after getting your Arduino IDE software down uh, onto your system wherever you want to put it um, go into the folder that it created and in this case the latest one is uh, currently uh, Arduino-0022 and you'll see the Arduino.exe file. Uh, double click open that guy up and you'll get a nice header page uh, or header graphic and this is what the environment looks like. Um, you're uh, you're pretty much uh, installed at this point, so I mean it wasn't it wasn't real hard. And uh, first thing you uh, you need to do is under tools, board. Make sure you select the board you're you're using. In many cases, or or a lot of the cases, especially the uh, the software or the hardware we just built. Uh, we use the Arduino Pro or Pro Mini, uh, 5 volt, 16 megahertz, and it has an Atmega uh, 328 in it. So you want to make sure you you uh, select that. The other key piece is when you plug in uh, your serial port, uh, your FTDI uh, adapter, um, you're going to come up, uh, and once the drivers are installed, uh, correctly um, it should see you should see a COM port uh, that you'll be going through your USB port and in my case it happens to be COM6 but depending on where I plug it I mean that'll change but make sure that's selected otherwise you're going to get an error now what I like to do to make sure that the environment is actually up running is I plug in uh, I plug in my programming cable into the uh, Arduino. Um, what I like to do is uh, open an example and this comes with the environment and the more basic or the most basic example I think there is is a sketch called Blink and when you sec uh, select a sketch you usually open up a, uh, a second window and that should take the environment that you had uh, selected before. Your board should be correct, the serial port should be correct and, and selected. It doesn't hurt 
to go and uh, double check that. And as you can see, the, the program is, is very short. It basically blinks the green LED that's uh, present on uh, digital pin 13 on pretty much any Arduino. Now up here, you can check to go and see if your environment is working uh, right just by uh, uh, clicking on this leftmost uh, button. Uh, and you can see over here, it'll come up as, uh, as verify, stop, uh, open, save, what have you. And the other one is, is upload. This actually uploads the sketch uh, to your, uh, your Arduino. And uh, uh, if you want to go and check to make sure your sketch compiles, uh, you can just click on this. You'll see down here, compiling. And since this is short, it goes pretty good. You should see done compiling. You should see in white uh, the sketch size uh, out of the total, uh, total space available. And one thing that's absent down here is any red lettering or red warnings or errors, what have you. Uh, white is uh, white lettering is good. Any red down here is typically bad, and that's as deep as I want to go into it. Uh, if you do get any red down here, typically what's happened is you haven't selected the proper board or you haven't selected the live COM port. Uh, any other errors, you can go up to the Arduino site and uh, do uh, troubleshooting, uh, look at the troubleshooting page, and it'll kind of uh, tell you pretty much the same, same thing. So we know it compiles OK. Let's, let's try and upload it. Right now, I have a Pro Mini 5 volt, 16 megahertz uh, bare board just hanging off the end of the cable and let's upload it and you see uploading to the IO board when we finally get this binary sketch it says it's compiled and you, it happened so quickly you really didn't see it I'll do it one more time you'll see uploading to IO board it'll come up with the binary sketch and then very quickly when it says done uploading you're done and if you looked at your board uh, you would see the green LED flashing once uh, every second. So it'll be on for a second, off for a second. At that point in time, you've got an operable uh, programming environment, and that's as easy as it gets. Um, to actually upload the firmware, um, I'm going to go and just open, uh, open the, uh, uh, the, the uh, latest firmware, and uh, the latest right now is uh, is a pre uh, seven, but for uh, for our cases and what we've been showing in the in the videos or whatever, the latest uh, stable release is uh, uh, multi we one dot six, and that's uh, that's pretty much what we've been uh, using. Uh, although uh, you know we're running and and checking out seven seven seems to be uh, seems to be very stable at this point as well. But for the sake of, uh, of argument here, I'm just going to go and pick one of the multi-Wii uh, firmware files. And uh, I'm just going to double click on it. And you see it, it loads right in, uh, opens up another window. The one thing that you do want to do is define your min throttle. Um, use the, the default uh, at first but uh, you will have to go and probably change this slightly so that when you enable your motors uh, which is uh, full low throttle full right yaw um, or full right uh, roll um, it will start your motors um, if this is set correctly um, it uh, it should run your your uh, motors uh, at a uh, a minimum setting that should be just uh, below uh, takeoff, if you will. And the key to this is that you want to go and make sure those motors are running all the time, unless you disarm them, shut them off, uh, because the last thing you want to do is pull throttle back to minimum while you're flying and have one of the motors shut off 
that's not good. It uh, it usually uh, involves a a rebuild and uh, and replacing of parts. So uh, this is the probably the most key setting uh, in there. Uh, down below, uh, you know, this is where you define uh, the type of platform, and of course uh, we're using a try. You don't have to go and touch uh, literally anything else to go and get off the, the ground for a quick, simple, and cheap, and uh, quick and simple being the operative words here. Everything else should be set, uh, should be set okay for you. Uh, you don't have to go and uh, define any uh, alternative type of accelerometers, uh, uh, gyroscope, what have you. The default is the uh, Wii Motion Plus and the uh, and the uh, the nunchuck if uh, if uh, you decide to put that in, uh, which I highly recommend. Um, but uh, you literally can get away with just a, a Wii Motion Plus Plus. So afterwards, uh, you know, we can go through uh, uh, through a lot of these. Uh, uh, a lot of these uh, alternative settings, they're, uh, they're gone over in the, the uh, links that uh, I showed you right at the beginning of this. But the key is if uh, uh, you need to go and play with min throttle for your specific airframe motors and, uh, and ESCs that you're using, and obviously you need to define this. So we're obviously we're not going to go and do any editing at all, just to show you that you know everything runs, and uh, you can go and do a verify again, and you get the compiling, and just to make sure that uh, you know everything is good, very quickly it uh, comes back, and uh, no red here, which is again good, and it says you know the the firmware as you downloaded it, uh, uh, and. Uh, compiled here was good. So we're going to go and do an upload. So this is really where we're going to go and put live firmware onto the Arduino Pro Mini. Click it. It's going to go again and do a compile. You'll see uploading to IO board. It's done. At this point in time <coughs> it's actually uploading to the board. Um, you're putting your, your operational firmware uh, up on the Arduino. Uh, it takes a bit because there's, there's quite a few lines of code in this thing, but again, uh, very quickly, here you go, we're done uploading. And once it's done uploading, uh, the sketch, uh, the firmware starts on your Arduino, and with nothing connected to the board uh, except for your, your programming cable, your FTDI cable, uh, you'll see the green light flashing very, very quickly. Uh, at that point in time, you have an operable Arduino, and uh, you should be able to go over to the configurator and see what's going on, and that's what we're going to go and do now.